changing the new world. But the 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 that was a good episode of World Trigger. It's not like there's really been too many bad episodes of World Trigger. There's been mediocre ones, but not necessarily terrible since, like, episode 5. Uh, this was really good. Not gonna lie. Not much to talk about. The explanation of the neighbors, uh, being from kind of different countries, it was a really nice explanation. The way I thought of it, it's like Asians. It's like, they may all look the same, but they could be Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, only Nikotaku knows what I'm talking about. What I find interesting is that, apparently, Kuga, from what I've seen, or what the context of the stories told us, we don't really know if he could be Jen. Maybe he could? I don't think he can. But... It's complete. It's not completely unexpected that this happened, but I have a feeling that this could lead to a plot twist. Or plot twist. <laughs> plot twist later down the line in the story, and it could be. It could head for a really interesting story. Jin is smart. He's like I. I didn't expect him to use the system to as advantage. He's really smart, and like as in like a smart aleck way, and just being intelligent in general. And I really do like that about his character. The opening. Stop hyping me up, you little shit. <laughs> I'm predicting that Yuma's father was the one that scarred the commander's face. Uh, don't know if that's right or not, but I'm gonna believe it is, uh, Sudi Damaskun. I'm gonna, uh, act or think that, uh, Yuma's father had ended up betraying the Foundation, and therefore, like, uh, they don't feel like they need to chase after the Founder's father, but I think the people that actually know about what happened are, uh, I, actually, to be honest, I think the only person who wants to see Yuma dead is the commander. I think Yuma dead would make the commander happy as in a sake for getting revenge because of his scar and that everybody else kind of wants yuma alive and safe they just don't want him in the middle of this that's how i'm seeing everything they just want the black trigger but they don't want him dead necessarily and jen ways of jen's way of doing this is going to be really interesting the whole thing that he could possibly throw off the entire balance of the organization yet jen is still willing to do this and i do like that about jen's character he's a risk taker it's going to be really interesting to see what happens because I, I really don't know what could happen at this point because it could either turn for the best or go in a turn for the worst in terms of like compatibility of the organization and God knows what could happen. So I, I'm really interested in how that's going to turn out. Uh, one horrible part of the episode when Kuga and uh, Chika were walking down the steps of that shrine. My God, the animation looked absolutely terrible. Oh lord. <laughs> but it, 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 it was one seed. It wasn't one that really affected the episode anyways, because they didn't put too much of a focus on it. They, it, they looked at it for like maybe 5 to 10 seconds and it was gone. So I'm not going to focus on it too much, but oh my god, it looked absolutely terrible and I am going to talk about it. <laughs> I gotta ask a question though, and it's about Gene. How did he seize a black trigger? See, I'm going to take a guess. This is a weird story, but I'm... Th maybe this is a little far-fetched, but this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Jin had a friend that was a neighbor who ended up dying. And before he died, his neighbor friend gave him his trigger. And therefore, he's kind of re protecting Yuma because not only does he know his father, but he also remembers Yuma kind of like his friend, like his neighbor friend. And I know that seems kind of far-fetched, but that's kind of what I'm going to be heading at or what I'm thinking happen and why gina actually has a black trigger because i can't think of any other way that he would get a black trigger other than him being a neighbor and how would he be put into uh the border without them knowing that he's a neighbor i doubt they would let one actually in with like no convincing whatsoever but overall that's about it i do like the entire thing about the split uh like the three factions and I don't know if like the characters where they are necessarily correlate because I didn't know I, I don't know where uh what's his name Mikamo is what branch is he actually in is he in the uh the Toke Yoma or uh, I'm thinking Mahoka I, I don't even remember is he in the uh the faction where Jean is or is he in another one anyways uh thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy please leave a like comment and as always I will see you guys in the next video deuces